Hello and welcome to our new students in this semester and also welcome to our current students coming back to these videos probably for their mid or their final exams. The course we are taking this semester is called Semantics. Okay. And my name is Dr. Nimr Abu Salim. My email is my first and last name at gmail.com. Please feel free to email me at any time. So let's begin. What do you think semantics is? Well, let me help you out with a starter definition. Let's say that semantics is the study of meaning. So here's what I want to ask you guys. What type of meaning are we looking at here? Well, it could be meaning that we find in life. It could be meaning that you find in a painting. It could also be meaning that you find in music. However, the meaning we are concerned with here is the meaning you actually find in language. So let's fix up our definition just a little bit. So semantics is the study of meaning and language, but we're still not done here. What type of language are we talking about? Is it, are we actually studying meaning in Spanish, in English, in Arabic? Well, the fact of the matter is, if we're going to study meaning in each and every one of these languages individually, this is going to take us forever. And we probably won't come up with the generalizations that we're looking for. So it is very important to make a distinction between language and language. Language with a small l and language with a big O. Language with a small l is just a name we use to identify the languages we use on a daily basis. Again, like English, Arabic, and so on and so forth. Now we said this is not the type of language we want. So we're actually interested in language with a big L. So whenever we use this word, language with a big L, what we're actually looking for, or what actually means, is the principles of human language. And I use LG as short for, for language. We could also be deal dealing with the algorithms of human language. For now, you can call it whatever you want. Really, it's just, you know, what makes up human language in general. So we're looking at universal terms here, not language specific. So now let's try to formalize our definition a bit better. So semantics is the study of meaning in human language. Meaning in human language. There's one more content word, let's say, that we've left out, and that's study. What do we mean here by study? How is this a study? What branch of science is semantics a part of? So, when we talk about semantics as a study, what we're really talking about is that it's part of the study of linguistics. Now, linguistics is the study of human languages. And actually, this should be a big L. So let's start with a little example. Lily ate the apple. What is this sentence made of? So what is this sentence made out of? Well, as we can see, it's made out of words like Lily ate the apple. Um, these words are built together to make up phrases, for example, like this noun phrase right here. Okay. But going on to a, a little smaller level, we have sounds. So L is a sound. I is a sound. Right? T is a sound. H is a sound. So all of these components combine together to create language. So let's take a look at exactly how that happens. So language is divided up into three basic components. The first of which is sounds. The second part you could imagine is form. And the third part is meaning. So now under sounds, we're actually dealing with the individual sounds of the language, like we mentioned the L sound in Lily, the um, Th sound in the word The, okay, and the P sound in the word Apple. So the branch of linguistics that studies sounds is called phonetics. There's also one more branch called phonology, which is closely related, but that's kind of out of the topic right now. Next, we have form. Now, after we have these sounds, we need to form them up 
in a certain way, right? So first we need to make words out of them. And then we need to make these words combine together to form phrases. Okay, so what we're looking for here is words. And then we're also looking for phrases. And these phrases actually combine together to give us clauses, which are basically sentences. Okay, so the, the part of linguistics that studies words is called morphology. And the part that studies phrases and clauses is called syntax. Now we move on to the part that interests us in this course, which is meaning. Now meaning can come about basically on the sentence level, or it can come about above the sentence level. So meaning is basically studied by two branches of linguistics, the first of which is semantics, and the second of which is pragmatics. Now this list does not in any way cover all of the sub-branches of linguistics, but it'll do for now. We talked about the language components. Now, what is a grammar of a language? Well, grammar here is certainly not the type of grammar you took at school. So, grammar does not mean that we're going to talk about if statements or um, present, progress present progressives, right? Actually, what we are looking for here when we say the word grammar is every single part of a language, every part that you need to make that language work. So basically, you're talking about the sounds, right? You're talking about the syllables, also um, morphemes. You're also looking at the words that arrive after, you know, connecting your morphemes. And then you're looking at your phrases and your clauses and sentences, right? Um, so within this grammar, we said, of course, that something like um, sounds and syllables will be studied by phonetics and phonology. Something like morphemes and words would be studied like with morphology. And then phrases, clauses, and sentences would be studied by um, syntax. Okay? But we also mentioned, if you recall, that semantics was part of this. And pragmatics. All these things which were part of meaning. Now the main question I want to ask you guys here is, is meaning really important? Do we need this part at all? Can we just stick with sound and form? All right, guys, so here's a sentence I want you guys to think about when it comes to the importance of semantics in linguistics. Colorless green ideas sleep furiously. What does this sentence tell you about the importance of semantics to language? Mm -hmm.